Konnichiwa, hello my name is Mickey and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing from home. My mom was kind enough to send me two of these really heavy boxes and I'm going to be unboxing them and showing you guys the things that I miss from home. Basically in the winter time I get really really homesick and my mom sends me a bunch of goodies that just help that homesickness. So if you guys enjoy my videos or if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also don't forget to hit that bell notification so you actually know when I post my videos and per usual my disclaimer if you are super sensitive to profanity or if you are easily offended this is not the place for you I'm a no filter bitch and I have no idea what's gonna come out of my mouth so keep that in mind while you're watching all right so if you guys are interested in what is in these boxes all the way from Japan then just stay tuned all right so I have one box open and the first thing that I pulled out is teen skull now these are basically Okinawan crackers they're made this is gonna sound really weird, but they're made out of pig lard or pig fat. And so I know whenever I say that, people are like, oh, but I've actually had some American friends try this and they love it. It tastes just like a regular cookie. I mean, not a regular cookie, but it tastes really, really good. And this one has Benny Emo and plain flavor flavors. So there's plain and then there's purple potato flavor in here. And I absolutely love these. You can only find these from where I am from, which is Okinawa, Japan, and you can't get these anywhere else. So next my mom got me is Ika Fry. This is basically a spicy cracker in the shape of a squid, and what it is is it's basically like a cracker that is spicy but tastes like squid. I know it's really hard to explain, and you guys are probably thinking like, who the hell would eat that? But this is actually really, really good, especially with beer. Like a lot of people in Japan, they always drink beer, and they always have some kind of tsumami, and tsumami is basically like a side dish or something that you enjoy with your beer, and a lot of people love this with their beer, and I love this. The next couple of things looks like more uh, candy or snacks. Now, the first one is Kinoko no Yama, and and this is basically a cracker with chocolate on top of it. It's really, really good. Children like these. I love these because who doesn't like chocolate? And these are really, really good. These I believe are sold in most Asian stores. So if you ever stop at the Asian store, look for these because they are delicious. The next one I have is, wow, this is really weird. This is basil flavored or basil flowered pretz. Now, I don't know if you guys know what pretz are, but they're basically like pokey sticks without the chocolate and they're flavored. Sometimes they have salad flavor, garlic flavor. Now they have basil flavor or basil flavor and that's pretty neat. I can't wait to try these. I think this is the last type of snack. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have here mango chinsuko. So these are mango flavored cookies, the cookies that I showed you earlier, but these are mango flavored and I am so excited to try that because I have never ever had mango flavored chinsuko. Now mango is a really big thing in Okinawa. They're very, very expensive because they're probably some of the best mangoes in the world. Uh, I may be biased just because you know that's where I'm from, but I'm really, really excited to try this. Next product is I believe per my husband's request, he really likes anything that is sesame seed and like sesame seed dressing, um, sesame seed dip, whatever. I am not a big fan of sesame seed because I don't know why I just don't like the smell. But my mom got gomadare, which is basically you can use this for all kinds of things. You can use this for salad dressing. You can use this for dipping sauce. Um, you can use this for noodles. It really doesn't matter. Um, you can use this for basically anything. And I just, ugh, I'm just really not into this so ooh, okay so my mom got some bibimbap now I don't know if you guys know what this is but it is a Korean dish it's one of my husband's favorite dishes um, he just loves bibimbap and I don't know if you guys know what that is if not look it up I know a lot of Americans love Asian food and Korean food is a little bit spicy for me and I really am just not good with spicy foods but bibimbap is definitely something that's a little spicy and so yeah this is this is definitely something for my husband all right so the next two things I have here are the same thing. This is sushi taro. Now I've had this in my video quite a few times because my husband and I love this. This is basically
basically sushi rice. So whenever you go to a sushi restaurant, whenever you take a bite of like a sushi roll, you'll have that kind of like vinegary taste in the rice. That's because it's flavored with rice vinegar and that's what makes it sushi rice. And so this stuff is really, really good. As you can see, you mix this packet in with regular white rice and you add some um, eggs and you can add all this stuff here. I'm personally not a fan of like raw seafood uh, sushi that all. So I like to put on some seaweed and some egg and that's about it. I like to keep it nice, plain and simple. But if you guys are ever at the Asian store and you guys like sushi, you guys want to try this out because it's so freaking delicious and it is so easy to make. So this is really weirdly wrapped. I have no idea what this is. I don't even know why it's in bubble wrap because this is some kind of food. Um, so, oh, oh my God. Okay. So my mom sent me the most favorite thing that I miss from home. And that is Sammai Niku. Sammai Niku basically means three pieces of meat. And that is basically what we call our pork. As you can see, it looks like bacon, but they are thickly sliced and made in this not sauce or marinade. I can't even really say it's between a sauce and a marinade. And this is just so so good. This is like one of our, I can't really say, not delicacies, but it's a really, really popular dish. You can put this on top of soba. You can make it with tofu. You can do all kinds of things with this. And I am so happy. You guys, I could almost cry because I am just so freaking homesick right now. But this is like my favorite freaking like meat of all time. I just cannot live without any kind of pork because I grew up on pork. Okinawa is known for their pork and beef. We also don't put all those weird antibiotics and chemicals and all that stuff that the Americans do. And so our stuff tastes just so good. And I... I'm just so happy that I got a bag of it because I'm just, oh, you guys don't even know. Like this, this is something that I'm just obsessed with. All right, so this is the last thing that was in the first box. And this is per my request because I'm actually running out. This is Aibong. Now I talked about this before because I had my mom get me some, but this is basically an eyeball cleaner. I know it sounds really fucking weird, really strange, but this is something that is very popular in Japan, especially if your contacts where I wear contacts and it really sucks at the end of the day when you take them out and you clean them like your eyes still feel kind of gross and icky because you've just been wearing contacts all day all the uh you know fluffies and all that stuff is getting into your eyes so this is basically what it looks like it comes with a cap up here and what you do in this cap is there's a line and you put this liquid in the line you put the cap over your eye and you kind of tilt back and what you do is you take like several blinks and it cleans out whatever gunk is in your eye left from taking out your contacts. You can also do this if you just want like a refresher or like maybe, you know, you're really tired and you kind of want to wake up a little bit. You can use this to kind of just refresh your eyes, but I mostly use this for after taking out my contacts and wanting to clean like the residual stuff that's left in my eye. So I am really excited that I got a new bottle because my last bottle is like on its little last bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the second box that I have here in this box is way heavier than the first one. You guys, I might need a moment because I'm gonna cry because all my favorite foods are in here and I'm trying to keep it together, but it's just so hard. I don't know what it is, but like when it becomes the colder months, I just miss like the food from home so much because all of the food is mostly um, like ramen types of food or noodles type of food. And those are the best types of food to have in the winter time because it's cold and it's dark and you just want something warm. And my mom just sent me like my favorite rice of all time. This is Okinawan rice basically. This is called Jushi. Now these little packs, there's three in here. What you do is you open like a little bit of the corner, you throw it in the microwave, um, I want to say this is two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. You put this in the microwave and you instantly have good ass rice. Now, I used to buy these all the time, like just the white rices whenever I didn't have any rice at home. And I just can't believe that she sent me the Jushi flavor. Now, Jushi is basically an Okinawan rice. There's some shiitake, there's pork, there's some a uh, little bit of seaweed in there. And I am just, ugh, these two are like my favorite things right here. The Sammai Niku, the pork, and Jushi. Jushi is just something that I grew up on ever since I was a little girl. And it is literally my favorite type of rice to eat. 
And again, this is something that you also cannot get anywhere else but Okinawa, Japan. So now I have these fried rice packets. Me and my husband absolutely love these. I am not a very good fried rice maker. And what I mean by that is like, I have a really hard time making fried rice from scratch just because I don't know what it is, but I can never get the seasoning right. And I don't like to flavor it with like just soy sauce and salt and pepper, you know, cause that's not what fried rice is. But this stuff kind of helps me get the flavor going. What you do is you make a pot of rice and you take the amount of rice that you need that's on the packet. You take one of these packets and you put it in a frying pan. You put the rice in the frying pan. You sprinkle this on top of the rice and then you make egg and you mix it all up in the pan or in the skillet and you get some good ass fried rice. Oh, okay. So I have a little bit more candy now. Oh, my mom got me my favorite gummy candy. I have been so obsessed with these since she first sent me the first packet. These are kororo, which is basically little gummies. Whenever you bite into them, they have like this really strange texture where it's like gummy and jelly. And like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. You have to try one of these to know what I'm talking about. But she got me the peach flavor, which I've had and I absolutely love. She also got me grape flavor. And now that we have a new one, this is melon. Now I believe this is, I want to say it's honeydew. I'm not really sure. I actually hate melons. I don't like watermelons. I don't like honeydew. I don't like cantaloupe. I don't like any melons at all. But the one thing I will say is anything that's candy, that's melon flavored in Japan, I will eat because it is so freaking good. I wish that I could pull you guys through the screen and give you guys a taste of like real Japanese candy because it doesn't taste so artificially flavored like the candies do here in America. Like anything that's grape flavored tastes like cough syrup to me. And anything that's strawberry flavored just has this weird like artificial taste to it, which is why I make miss Japanese candy so much because we don't put all that weird artificial flavoring that Americans do. And so our candies actually taste like what they say they're going to taste like. So I know that this is going to taste like melon. I know this is going to taste like grape. And that's one thing that I miss about being back home in Japan is that everything tastes authentic and doesn't taste like, you know, there's so much weird shit put into it. So next product I have here is, oh my God. This is gyudon. Now gyudon is something that you guys can make at home if you um, have the right sauce, which you can look up online. You can Google that stuff. So this is called gyudon. Now this is the symbol for beef and don basically means like bowl or like you know, like a big bowl, like one of those soup dishes or ramen dishes. Now what you do is you put rice in there, you put white rice, and then you put one of these gyudon on top, which is basically onion and uh, beef and some of that uh, marinade or sauce, if you want to call it. And you put it on top of rice and you just you, you eat it. That's all you do. Some people like to put raw eggs on top. I'm not a big fan of that, um, but a lot of Japanese people do it. And um, I'm actually really excited to try this because I've never tried packaged gyudon before. Um, and so I'm actually really curious to see how this is going to taste. So I have one last bag of candy here, and this is miruki. Now this always comes in all my package because my husband loves miruki. Miruki is just, it's something that little kids grow up on. I grew up on this stuff and this thing has been around for like years. What it is, is a milk caramel candy. It has the texture of caramel, but tastes like milk. And Japanese milk, once again, tastes completely different from American milk. You guys should definitely get miruki because I'm pretty sure more than positive that they have this on Amazon. Hopefully I can find it and leave the link below, but Miruki is just, oh, it just brings me back to like when I was a little girl because I would always snack on these. My mom got me some, ooh, okay. So she got me some udon, which is basically these noodles. I'm hoping I can like maybe show you guys. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but the noodles are a lot thicker than ramen noodles. Udon is basically a thicker white noodle it's almost, I want to say if you put like four ramen noodles together, that's about the thickness of them. And it's basically just another uh, noodle dish. And I actually am obsessed with this stuff, especially during the winter. Like this is the stuff that I would eat all throughout the winter back home. I would go to udon shops, ramen shops, soba shops, whatever. Anything that has to do with noodles and soup, 
that is my jam right there. I am so obsessed with that kind of stuff. And so I love udon so much. It is just so hearty and homey and just like, I love it so much. So I'm really happy that she sent me another package of these. All right, so here's some more noodles. I got some miso ramen. Now, miso ramen, this you can definitely get in Asian stores because I've been getting it here. Um, I think my mom just kind of threw it in here to fill the box up, which she normally does. But I love anything miso whatever. Like miso is my jam. I fucking love miso so much i love miso soup i love just everything miso flavor because it's so good now i don't know if you guys know this but there is two types of miso there's white miso and red miso and red miso is like my thing white miso is a little bit less i want to say salty and not as strong as red miso but they're both still really really good and so i absolutely love me some miso ramen now with ramen i love to put egg and spam and some seaweed on there and just like go at it so again these are for my husband these are mabo tofu now if you go to any kind of chinese restaurant i've mentioned this before you can get this mabo tofu it's basically spicy tofu in a sauce and has some beef in it and it's really really good now you don't have to get it uh spicy because i have had some that aren't spicy and if you're someone who's really into tofu which i just i cannot live without tofu this is definitely a dish that you would like i believe they sell these on amazon as well too there's different flavors that we have here and my husband just absolutely loves mabo tofu so my mom always sends these boxes because my husband likes to take them to lunch and so i like to make these for him and um he's just really really into these i don't know why because to me they're really just they're just so spicy i i, I just can't so here is some mabo tofu Ooh, okay so this is new i've never seen this before this is kurobutameshi so basically it's black pork food that's what it translates to and um i've never tried this before i've never even seen it so i really can't explain to you what it is except that it goes with rice so this it says like on the back you basically make your rice the way you would normally make it throw a bag of this in there mix it up and make it with the rice i'm definitely interested in like intrigued by this i'm really curious as to what it's going to taste like last item i have here is hukahide soup now this might trigger some people so just a little warning this is shark fin soup yes i know a lot of people are like what the fuck what is that who eats that it's fucking delicious okay i cannot stress enough how much shark fin soup taste it is so freaking good so in this soup there's obviously shark fin there's eggs there's bamboo shoots and there's little things of mushroom which i believe are shiitake now this stuff is so freaking good you can find this at chinese restaurants as well it actually comes from china now i know i talk so much shit about china because i'm just like uh i don't like china i don't like chinese products but chinese food okay they're not messing around if you've ever gone to a legitimate chinese restaurant you will know exactly what the fuck i'm talking about chinese food does not play it is so freaking delicious and that is why i'm obsessed with hukahita soup because one time i went to a chinese store and they sold they had this and i just could not stop drinking it or eating it or whatever you want to say and so my mom got me a box of hukahide soup i am so excited about this like i cannot wait this i'll probably make it like <laughs> tomorrow since i already ate tonight but i am just oh i'm so freaking happy right now because i just i can't you guys all right you guys so that is it for this unboxing i really hope you guys enjoyed it also i'm sorry if i look like shit today it's actually like 8 30 right now and i never filmed this late but i actually had errands to run so i went and ran my errands and then i came and filmed so my face has been on for a really long time and i just gotta say just a little update on the tarte found sealer which is what i'm wearing today this shit does not last very long by like hour three i had to reset my face it was like separating and i just i keep trying all these concealers that i have had uh reviews on on my videos and some of them are just ugh. so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making it for you if you did please hit a thumbs up and don't forget to click that big red button that says subscribe also don't forget to hit that bell notification so you actually know when i post my videos and as always if you have any tips tricks questions comments or if you simply want to talk shit leave it all in the comment section below and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye bye